morning. Today we're going to read Olivia, written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. Today, uh, this week we'll be learning about fantasy. A fantasy is a made-up story that could not really happen, and we'll be using this type of chart today, uh, this week. Reality versus reality is what could happen, and fantasy what could not happen. While reading, think about what kind of pig is Olivia. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She is even she even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand caps. pretty good. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for you know what, her mother says. Of course Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Time out! After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. Oh no, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two? Three? Oh, all right, three, but that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, You know you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. Meet uh, the author, Ian Faulkner. Ian Faulkner says the characters in his book are based on his sister's family. His niece, Olivia, is very busy and wears out her parents, just as Olivia in the story does. He decided to make Olivia a pig because he thinks pigs are very smart animals and that they're like humans in many ways. Author's Purpose Ian Faulkner wanted to write about a smart pig. You can write about another smart animal and tell me why it's smart. Reading Comprehension Checklist Number 1. 
Who does Olivia live with? Give details. Number two. Could this story happen in real life? Why or why not? What are some real things that are in the story and what are some fantasy things that are happening in the story? Number three. How does Olivia's mother feel when Olivia paints on the wall? How can you tell? What happens when you do that at home? Number four. How are Olivia and Joan and we love Joan alike? 